Hi, I'm Alina Machado and these are the six things you need to know. We start first with your first alert forecast leading into Sunday. A little bit more sunshine on the front end of our day, but then a little bit more thunderstorm activity in the afternoon. Sunday morning, lower 80s, warm and humid, climbing to 91. Once we get into the afternoon, scattered storms across the area, at least 50% of the area will see some wet weather, and we'll take that forecast right into Monday. Morning sun, afternoon storms, highs again at 91. Through the work week, just widely scattered afternoon storms in the cards for us, tapering off by the time we get to next weekend. Alina? A police officer was rushed to the hospital after being shot following a deadly altercation in Coconut Creek on Saturday morning. Officials say Andrew Renna, a four year veteran, was shot after responding to a call. During their investigation, officers found the bodies of a man and a woman, as well as a deceased pit bull. Police identified the shooter as 44 year old Jason Roseman. Authorities say he turned himself in. The Sun Sentinel is reporting at least four people could be charged this week in connection to a deadly incident that happened at a Hollywood nursing home in the aftermath of Hurricane Irma. Twelve people died in the September 2017 incident in which a power outage during the storm caused air conditioning to be out at the facility for several days. A Florida man was convicted late Friday night in the shooting death of an unarmed black man. Michael Draca was arrested in the 2018 shooting of Marquise McLaughlin outside a Clearwater gas station after an argument over a parking space. Draca will be sentenced in October. Only on six, a South Florida couple is sharing their love, their story of love rather, and resolve. Nick Williams was hit by lightning earlier this month while he was sitting outside in a wheelchair in Pompano Beach. His fiance says he spent several days in a coma but has since woken up. For more on this heartwarming story, check out the NBC6 app. And orange and green meets orange and blue in Orlando. The Miami Hurricanes and the Florida Gators face off on the football field for the first time since 2013. Once yearly foes, the teams are not scheduled to play again until the 2024 season. For more on these stories, check out the NBC6 app. You can also get NBC6 News anytime on Apple TV, Roku, Alexa, or on YouTube. I'm Alina Machado, and this has been the six things you need to know.